How could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. That's interesting. Like, it's just occurred to me that we're getting flashes of stuff that wouldn't have been Lara's memories, right? Or in theory, they would have been. I don't know. All right, is that everything again? I feel like we've got a ton left, though. Um, I guess opening this safe is not going to be the end of it, right? There must be something more. Either that or I've missed a lot more than I'm I'm happy to have missed. Like a lot, lot, lot more. I mean, if we, lo if we miss a couple of little things, little odds and ends, maybe it's not so bad, but geez. Uh, let's head on straight back to you, right? <clears throat> God, she's wasting the battery in that. This is like the most homely and ri like just seeing a freaking laptop there makes the oh, it feels actually the most nice area in the entire house right here you can tell this is where she's been hanging out like she's got a little a heat generator there oh god is that a thing that we didn't get jesus hi dad i've been thinking about mum lately i wish i knew more about her how did you meet what was she like winston told me that she was a brilliant artist are some of her paintings locked up in the west wing Yes, yes, and yes. I guess I just want to know. Did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly. But will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? Uh, this is, this uh, goes very close to what we heard about her getting bullied a bit, right? It was so hard to talk for Dad to talk about Mum. Man, that worries me that we'd missed that, right? Like, so basic. Just right in our face. Right as we'd started and still went right under my nose. All right, time to do yeah, the puzzle then. What do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important to you, and it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. This would best be a will saying I'm allowed to keep this dilap dilapidated crap hole. Found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I see three inputs. But is that three inputs for the first thing? And then there'll be another one? The answer has to be in the clues. I'm well aware, Lara. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. So, save coin. Oh, and they put them at the top. Good job, legends. All right, moving in. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my... All right, I'm just going to pause that, okay? So, uh... It was the abstract with blocks of red. I smiled and thinking about giving it to him. I was happy and I was going home. All right. So here we have, um, rem memorize the combination you offered. The first, okay, yeah, it's just three things then. Lara's expedition treasure is the first. The favorite painting by Amina. So I'm guessing the middle digit is four then because there were four blocks. Um, Lara's expedition treasure is a hieroglyph. Which we have to verify across two different things. Uh, so I think it goes four and then here the day of our wedding anniversary is a nine. So I think it's something four nine. So we have to find out what the first is. So let's go to... Um, uh, no, it's not that one. Uh... That's why they all caps this then, I guess, right? Because her birthday was the 13th, they said. So that's definitely the 9th. That's the last one. All right. Um, what's funny then is that they haven't actually... They haven't given us... The hieroglyphs thing. So where would we find the hieroglyphs? Would I have to scroll down for these? Don't worry. So these are documents. Well, let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, interesting. So relics. So here's the Egyptian crown. Crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six, eight. So the secret information was the hieroglyph in the middle, which is the two birds, right? That's what we care about. Um, now the worksheet. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. So we're looking at five, I think? Either that or maybe the three. I'm going to have a look at the crown again in a second, but it's, it's either a five or a three. Um... The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. 
How old was I again? Six, eight. Yeah, I think it's a five. I think it's a five. So I think the total code is five. Um, four, three. Uh, five, four, nine, sorry. Five, four, nine. I think that's what it is. Let's see if we figured it out. Here we go. Five, which is the hieroglyph. Four, which is the number of blocks. Nine, which is her birthday. Oh, yeah, baby. We got it. A simple deduction. What is this? I'm happy to know that Dad kept us safe. Oh, it's our handprint. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. No, that's not what I'm looking for. This could be, though. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow, waiting for me to find her. Oh, God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth will fight me on this, but I can't face Lara. I can't look into her eyes unless I try. I must try to bring Amelia back. The monks are preparing the elixir now. And then we will see if all my years of hunting this truth was for naught. Oh no, Dad, what did you do? What did you do? He's trying to go into the afterlife to bring her back. Dad, what did you do? Well, this won't help us keep the, the manor. <laughs> Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Immortality. What does that say under it? I, I don't know. Manuscript by Richard Croft. Let's go to the back. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Oh my god, Lara, you gotta read that. You gotta read that. And that, that, the next game, right, opens with her putting, you know, folding away the last page of this as she's read it. And she's like, I know where I need to go. Um, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Well, who knows? What's that? One more. Hmm, a blank page. Oh, invisible ink. Invisible ink, baby, the final puzzle. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. Oh, snap, let's get out of here. Let me check this room again. I'm so scared I've been missing stuff, guys. I'm so scared. I've been having a lot of fun, though. Uh, the, the light in here is not going to be enough. Let's do it in the main hall. The main hall's got to be it. I like the idea that, like, that, that thing we were sitting on that Winston was checking us up on is, like, you know, a big secret area or something. Like, right here. And that's why he was concerned about us sitting here. Come on. Interact. Must interact. A hidden message. All right, here we go. Oh, what is this? What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Oh, God. I've actually got to figure this out, right? I've got to figure this out. What is this? So they're hieroglyphs again, right? They're hieroglyphs. Like that, I think is how it... No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know how it wants me to look at it. But that's... They're, they're totally... That's what this is, right? That's totally what this is. Like, we can make the bird there. We can do that. But what? Solve the mystery of the blank letter. Oh, no. I've got to actually figure some stuff out here. All right. Okay. Let's solve the mystery of the blank letter then. All right. <clears throat> um... Uh, it will be a relic, won't it? The final puzzle, located in Croft Manor, blank letter and blank letter revealed. Was I supposed to have this already? That would really worry me if I was supposed to have this already. Located in Croft Manor. A hidden a message. hidden message. Okay, well, so this is a floor plan, obviously. Uh, or is it? So there's a desk, a long hallway with a desk at the end. Some crates. A desk over here. And he's pointing to something here. So, so what looks like this? A long hallway. I'm, I'm guessing these are these are windows. There'll be a, a doorway in here. So let's just try and find a hallway that has a desk at the end, at the far side. Let's just try and do that first, shall we? Um, 
And there, there were no doors on this wall here, which itself is kind of suspect. I wonder if there's a secret room here that we eventually, like, fumble our way into. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, let's check this hallway here first. This is the one that's supposed to just lead to a dead end, correct? That was all crowded over. No. And then we... Th th this... Oh. Oh, and then this there was this doorway. Th th this isn't it, though. Um... A hidden message. What are these strange marks? They have to be some clue. Is there anything I can decipher just purely from this here? Or do I have to do stuff on the other side? Do I have to do this? What's the hieroglyphics? I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Okay, so on the, the, the sheet, we've got like a bird on the right, don't we? Right, just a single one. Oh, we've got this. It's a two, isn't it? Oh, it's these two. It's totally these. It's 12, right? That's, that's the number it's giving us. 12? Oh, unless it's this one here in the middle. Is it, is it 142? Is that what we're looking at? Let's, let's see. Just let me, I think all of the other stuff is pretty clearly not it. But these, these first couple, oh, it is. Look, guys, guys, guys. It's exactly what I said. It's exactly what I said. There's a number on the back of that. All right. The number is, I remember. the number is 142. 142, 142, 142, but why? What does 142, how does 142 help us? Is there some code that we need to enter somewhere that I, 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 I'm I, not aware of? Message. Do we need to enter 142 here? Oh, I know what this is. This is where we were playing chess, isn't it? This is the storeroom downstairs. This is where we, this is the storeroom. I'm sure it is. Right? I think. I'm gonna go downstairs, and we're right near downstairs as well, right now, aren't we? Aren't we looking there? Yeah, we are. One, four, two. Which also takes us back towards the Egypt adventure, right? Like, this is the long corridor. This is the desk. Wait, 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 but it, it's suggestive of a desk, but yeah, there's a desk at the end! Okay, alright, so then this is... I won't, I won't go back on because of the audio. And then it's like, we should just be able to spam E somewhere here, right? Oh, look! What on earth? Oh my god, there's a keypad. What was it? 142? That worked. Oh my god, it worked, but what did it do? Oh my god, there's a secret door! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, what is this? It interact. Locked in. Interact. Hmm. Oh my god! A secret door from the inside. Hope I'm not trapped in here. Yeah, I hope so too. It would be a pretty crappy end. What? How futuristic does this look? I build all of this just to keep his research safe. Oh my god, this is some Life is Strange chapter 5 stuff right here. Oh, this is cool! Okay. There's a door, a cupboard. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. I need a secure place to keep it all safe. Uh, Dad must have seemed paranoid to Roth, but I understand why he built this vault. I'll tell you what, did Anna find this? Did Anna ever find this? Let's see. Could Anna have gone into the West Wing, figured out all of that stuff, opened the safe, found the thing? Uh, could, she could, in theory, have put all of that stuff back after monkeying with it. She could have. She could have. She could have. She could have gone big dick on hiding everything. Oh, what is this? The the bugs are around on the ground. Oh, they look so real, guys. Ugh. Okay, I can't believe it. All right, what else we got here? 
Oh, the third blueprint. Page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. I see. This was a part of the renovation. So that minor mystery there resolved. Right. Ooh, why have we got... Oh, I thought that was flesh. It's pottery though, right? Oh, there's so many things in here. My love. It is silent. So peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more. That I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. There is so much to say, but I'm tired. Oh, the sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon, and likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared, Richard. What lies beyond? You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on in her. Man, he did not take that advice, did he? Lara says, I can't imagine what dad felt reading this letter from mum. I can barely read it without bursting into tears. I hope he eventually came to see in Amelia and me. All right, little, little, little bit of story time here or criticism time about this game compared to like what Uncharted was doing. Uncharted had very similar stuff like um, in, in Uncharted 4, this is not a big spoiler, but you find a lot of letters from like pirates and men at the end of their lives, right? And you can find these letters and you can find the last things they wrote, except in Uncharted, the way that they do this is you actually get to read their handwriting. You get to pick up and you as a player playing the video game, you're you're looking at an actual piece of paper with handwriting on it. And you and it's so much and there's no voice acting. You're actually reading it, interpreting yourself and seeing the way that their cursive like play out on the page and it's so powerful the way that un it, that works in Uncharted and it feels like classier and cooler somehow the way that that franchise did it I, I mean I like hearing our mother's voice here but I kind of really hate that I can't actually properly read her handwriting that I can't that you know I just have this crappy graphic representing it on the left and just plain text here instead oh missed opportunity it would be so cool to actually see you know and really immerse yourself in it but hey that's fine facing death Amelia's Jones faced death alone she was so brave I get that there are some people out there who are just too late. Well, not lazy. They, they're just not interested in reading, right? I get it. I get it. But, oh, that's a bit of a shame. It's still great, though. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. What? What? The Jade Dragon? Okay, two made of two. Isn't it called the Temple of Xi'an? One of the levels right at the end? I swear it is. Isn't it? Isn't that what you're trying to get into in Tomb Raider 2? No. Oh, I hate that I can't, like, look this up right now. Also, the secrets format for that game was you'd find a gold dragon, a jade dragon, and a stone dragon in every level. This is totally a jade dragon. It is, it is isn't it? It's the Temple of Jian. Isn't it? What are they doing? Yeah, and this is called the jade dragon statue. What are they doing? Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. All right, uh, let's go. Let, I, I feel like the box on the table is, is the main thing, the main thing from the room. I don't want to open till last. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have choked the life from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. 
Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. You can understand his anger, but Jesus Christ, is he telling him to like jump off a bridge or something there? Uncle Atlas won't stop until the Croft name is ruined. I have to find a way to get him out of my life. This is crazy though, because you can see that Atlas, like, it almost comes from a place of love that he's doing that. Well, though, I, Atlas, I, I told a lie earlier. When Roth died, not every contact to this era of, of, of Croft history was severed. Atlas, maybe this is why he's still so intriguing, because Atlas is still, still represents a link to that time. Oh, man. What we got here? Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Yeah, let's open it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Lord Croft's Codex. I'm ready, boys. All right, never mind. Um, a thing here. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs. Then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed. There is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat. I imagined that my life was being drawn from me as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead, and I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. Oh man, how cool is this? So it, the, the pocket watch did stop at midnight. It did! Oh, what a memento as well. What a trinket of that time to leave it forever. That is crazy. And the fact it stopped, is there something going on? Or was he just a miserable failure of a man chasing fairy tales? Oh, Dad, part of me wishes you had succeeded. You brought her home. She's here somewhere. Imagine if Jacob could read all of this. Oh, my God. And yeah, that's the profound part of it, right? That she's there. She's at this house. Oh, now it does feel haunted. Now I am a little bit tingly and cringy. Oh, look at this. I wonder if there's other things we can just pick up on from the environment. Is this the light switch? We can just turn the lights out? Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. Please stop playing scary ass noises. Please, 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 please. All right, so we've got a black light. Description. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Oh, here's the thing that we missed. The sun-shaped plaque. The final puzzle. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. And our past to the north. Am I going to get a choice? Does it see this, right? You know the big thing in the, in the hall? It looks like you'd slot this into the middle of the hall or something, right? Because it looked like there was a hole there. Am I going to get to choose? Like, what do I, where do I go? Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? Oh my god, there totally is. Why can I still interact with this? Oh my god, the crowbar. Oh dear. What, what else did we need the crowbar for? Ages ago we wanted the crowbar, didn't we? But where, why, when? What was, what was that? Alright, so this is not the final room. Might be able to use this to access oh. other parts of the manor. Well, there you go. So this will bust us out, I guess. I like how it's all like trinkets and things, and now we're just going to brute force our way through stuff with a crowbar. Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna survival instincts here. This was a very deep room with a lot of stuff in it. I think we got it all. So the black light reveals stuff on this board, right? Oh, but I can't read it. I can't interpret it. Is it just to sort of, is this just a bit of flavor for us? What does that say over there on that wall? I mean the black, 
the black light seems a little bit excessive, right? Like, for how easy it is to... Look at this. Look at all of his little notes on the boxes and stuff. This is wild. Oh, this is so awesome, guys. I'm really enjoying myself. All right, let's break through here then. <sighs> Where was the other crowbar area? Where was that? Solve the riddle of the sun-shaped plaque. I swear, it's going to be in the middle of that room. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll find up Winston alive and well. Wait, is this? Is this where we saw the crowbar before? Because this is back in the basement, right? Yeah, this is totally where we saw the crowbar. I remember. Okay, all right. So, and this was the only instance of seeing a crowbar spot, correct? Across the entire manor so far? Oh, snap! Never mind. I just pressed that out of instinct. Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. I don't remember writing this, but I do remember being bored in school, though. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, the fact that that locker could be pried into with a crowbar now has me worried, because I feel like we saw a few different situations like that. Oh, no, what? No, 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 no. Where the hell are we? What is this? Did we just come up here before and read stuff? Why don't I remember any of this? I suddenly feel a little bit lost. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, we did come in here. All right, so this was in the library. Is that going to automatically close on me again now? Oh, no, it's not. It's going to stay open. All right, okay. I guess they auto-closed it last time to force the players to solve this and get the master key before leaving. Otherwise, they could end up just getting really frustrated. Like, it's a really subtle way of guiding people. All right, so the last puzzle. Well, where I want to go then is into the main... The main hallway. Let's see how our progress is on documents and stuff. Let's see. Um, oh, sorry. It's the main screen here. 49 out of 54. So we've got five more documents and five more relics. Well, if I was a game developer and I was inventing a last section for my level, putting five of each in them seems pretty reasonable, right? So maybe we're 100% right now, guys. Maybe we are. Maybe we're doing good. I just don't remember any other crowbar spots. I really don't. Like here. I think we put it in the middle in here. We do. We totally do. Ah, oh, this is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Okay, but how does that help me? What? I can't interact with it. I can't turn it in any respect. So, our past is to the north, our which is the Croft Banner. Oh, this is cool. Which is the Croft Banner up there. Our future is to the south, which is the front door. Can we now walk out the front door and does that conclude Croft Manor? No. All right, there is a little bit more. Uh, our future is to the, to the south. What did it... Uh, our knowledge is to the west and our... I don't know what was to the east, but we already did a ton of stuff in the east. Can I crowbar my way through any of this stuff right now, please? Do we just move the um, the banner that's on the main landing, maybe? Can we peek behind it by pressing E now? Because we're interested in our past, right? This is what the whole story's about right now. Lara, look behind this. I mean, I would find it hard to believe there'd be anything amazing hidden behind that. See, in the old games, you could actually jump onto the, the chandelier and stuff. That's totally not a thing, right? 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 That's just crazy. I'm just going to hurt myself if I try that. Do I want to smash it onto it or something? What are these footsteps here? I'm feeling a little bit lost suddenly. Hold on. I'm feeling a little bit lost. 89% complete on Croft Manor. Our next objective is to solve the riddle of the sun-shaped plaque. Objective marker is still in the very center. So what do they want from me? Something in the middle room? 
The fire isn't anything this time. None of this stuff. It's not down in that hole down there. The sun-shaped plaque. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Add m Meridian, that says there. All right, so what if we go... So our respite is to the west. Um, which is where the game started and also nothing. Our knowledge is to the east. So we seek knowledge, right? More than we seek our past, we seek knowledge. So maybe we go back to the west wing. But why? And what's the game trying to... Knowledge is to the east. Is it like something here we gotta... Crowbar open or something? Like, because why couldn't we have done this earlier? I mean, the game has context contextually been improving things, but... If we come back into here... His head was missing, right? Oh, look, 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 look. There's another one. So what if we go to our east again? Am I going way off course now? Am I just like totally ballsing this up? What else, what else might it be trying to tell us? Solve the riddle of the sun-shaped plaque. Um, the blank letter, we did everything, right? It was the number and the thing. So, so is it something to do with the numbers? So like, it's saying north is 1 or 11, and it's saying, like, east, which is knowledge, is 5, and it's saying, like, south doesn't really have any... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it something about the clock? Is there a clock that we can... Are, there cl are these clocks? No, they're plates. This is a clock, and it's still doing things. That clock doesn't line up with the real world, does it? It might actually. Is it about 8 in the morning for me right now? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know, and this comes back, oh, 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 to interact, oh, but that's just the, the music, the music doesn't help us, at least I don't believe it does, let's go back to the sundial, let's see what we got, I might end up cutting this one, guys, I don't know, because I'm a lot less, I know a lot less about w what my objective is right now, I, I guess I'm just, I'm not really sure what it's saying to me, I put it in the floor, Don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me, tonight. I will take care of Atlas, and then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It was amazing. Oh. Oh, uh, well, that just triggered accidentally, but that explains why she went alone and died. Oof, the blame. It's not Richard's fault. If Atlas hadn't been prying, they would have, like, gone down together, I guess. Or they would have both survived. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess I never triggered that before. It's not quite related to the puzzle, but there we go. I was trying to find the clock, guys. I was trying to find... I was trying to find the clock that stopped at midnight, maybe? The fact that his clock stopped at midnight suggests what? That he should be looking to their past or something? I don't... I really don't know. Okay, so we tried following, like, the east. Let's try following... And the west didn't go anywhere at all. South doesn't go anywhere. So there's only north, right? So we can try... But north just leads... Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh, that's so bullshit. Seriously? I was going to come back up here and I was going to see if there was like a door to go around in the west wing. There's a thing right here. Oh. Well, that's pretty crap. I kind of spent a while wandering around here. That's pretty... All right, well, fine. Okay, so E, what even is this though? Why would I know what this is? Oh, oh no. Okay, it's a crowbar thing. Right. Oh, shit. And there's a passageway there. Oh, I, oh this is... Okay, I'm excited. I'm a bit annoyed, but this is also excited. Exciting. All right, okay, the hidden truth. Ex this must be it, guys. This must be the last bit. Investigate the Croft Crypt. Oh, is this where our mum's gonna be? Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, it's pretty rugged down here. Oh, wow, look. 
Oh, is that going to be her? Did he put her in, like, this beautiful central place? Incredible. This crypt was here all along. This is just like in the Gen 2 stuff. All right, here, look, we've already got recording. I expected a sort of crushing finality to grip me when we returned to the manor to lay Amelia to rest. Indeed, once the last of my funereal duties were performed, I fully believed that I would crumple to the ground next to her and expire, not from grief, but succumbing to the terrible exhaustion of the last few weeks. Instead, as the mausoleum stone slid into place, I felt a sort of peace and energy. One that I confess caught me entirely off guard. This was not the terminus of our story, and I was a fool to think so. Her body may be gone, but her spirit still resides here, in the manor, in me, in Lara. Her soul is forever twined with mine, and death is just a momentary interruption. I walked out of that cold quiet into a sunlight that burned my eyes, and I have never been more sure. Death is not the end, and there is work yet to do. Wow, this is crazy. And so Lara says, this is where it all started, our family's obsession. Well, now it's time for me to complete our work. At least Lara's got more of a basis of what she's actually seen to go with here. Oh man, though, it's crazy that he just fall deeper down the pit of obsession after that, right? Question is, if that happened after he put the last stone in, how did it end up here? Or is he talking about the stones down there? Oh, wow. What is this? In memory of our loving husband and father. We can't really read quite enough detail here. Oh, it's so warm in here. Who keeps these fires lit? You've always got to ask that question, guys. Every tomb. Who keeps the fires lit? Oh, there's a wilted My rose. Grandmother Rose, nicknamed the Golden Rose for her perfect reputation. I wonder what she would have thought of me. Maybe she was a lot like you. Who knows? Ancestor's le legacy. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. My God, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. She's right here. She was here the whole time. Oh, there's a document here. Oh, is this it? We're in a cutscene, guys. Oh, but then I've missed four things. It is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love, it's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices, through the love you give and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy, that you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me, with all my love, your mother. P.S. Croft Manor is yours. <laughs> oh man, that's cool! Oh, there we go! Rise the Wait, so that doesn't resolve it though, then how does she keep- does she keep the, the manor? Well, damn, that was a pretty oh, good Croft Manor. A letter. Oh, additional relics have become available in the manor, okay. All right, two days later this is. Two days later. Oh, look, it's not storming anymore. Oh, we get to explore a little bit. All right, let's see. Is this Atlas? Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Oh, uh, I see. Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity, to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. 
Dude, you gotta get involved with him. Not sure about this offer. We'll see what the future brings. Atlas de Mornay, that's pretty cool. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again. Good on you, Lara. Wow, so we get it back. Oh, next game's got to have this, like, but renovated a little bit more. That would be so sweet. So... I actually did do a little bit of online looking after recording this video, guys, and I discovered that apparently there are a couple more documents that only become available after you've completed the main story, which won't be available to us right here right now because we're right at the end. So we will return to Croft Manor uh, for those presumably spoiler-ridden messages right at the end of the main story. Well, until then, though, I guess I will leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. This was... Croft Manor, what a cool DLC, really, really interesting stuff. Um, I will point out, just before we totally leave, let's, um, uh, let's exit to main menu here, just before we go. Um, there is actually a second thing you can do in Croft Manor, and that's Lara's Nightmare, alright? And so this is actually one of the expeditions, the only expedition I didn't show you guys. I'll do a very quick, brief run through here. You get to basically fight in the manor, as far as I understand. We'll do a bunch of random cards. And so apparently there is actually a final boss in here. We've got to destroy all of the skulls. We can find the master key and a chest by candles. So I doubt I'll do a totally full playthrough of Lara's Nightmare, but it's again another cool thing that you can get as a bit of, um... Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter. But so be it. I will never allow you to make this manor your home again. If you stay... You will perish like your pathetic father. Like my poor, ruined sister. I will grind the Croft name to dust and leave it utterly destroyed, forgotten for all time! It is too late for you now. Oh, damn. That's a sinister intro. Wake up, Lara. None of this is happening. Oh, my God. We've only got a revolver as well. And again, this is very Tomb Raider 2 as well, where the very end of the game had something called Home Sweet Home, where a ton of guys were basically attacking you. Oh my god, he's freaky looking. What is this? Oh, this is badass. You will awaken my rage. So these are a lot of like the guys in Cold Darkness. Oh my god, we get some challenges. This is pretty badass, actually. Hold on, we might play a little bit more of this than I expected. Alright, I was, I was gonna shank that guy if he survived. Oh, we actually can loot stuff as well. Oh, challenge failed Thunderball. Do it without getting hit once. Jesus, do we just charge? Do we just run away? Oh, I can't actually heal right now or anything. Oh man, this is cool. This is really interesting. I wonder what the final key. boss looks like. I need a key. I'll probably edit in a little bit of footage of what the final boss looks like for you guys, just so this video doesn't get too long. But uh, but yeah, Lara's Nightmare as well, where you get to play in the manor and you get to do some crazy stuff in here too. They really, uh, they, they gave some value for money on this one. I think that's uh, well worth it. If they do more DLCs as well, for what it's worth, you can be sure that I will cover them. And probably even more in full than I've covered the uh, currently existing ones. But that'll be it for me from Croft Manor. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will catch you tomorrow for, oh god, the uh, finale of this series, that being the end of the game. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you there. Catch you next time, everybody.